What's going on, y'all? The reviewer is here, and I'm back to give y'all this movie review of Alpha Dog. All right, this movie is a crime drama film that's directed by Nick C. I'll say C because I can't pronounce the last name, but if y'all know about this movie, it is based. It is about the story of the kidnapping and murderer of Nicholas Markowitz that was back in 2000. All right. Again, y'all know I like stories or movies based off of true events. So this one really hit home, man, because when I saw this movie a while ago, like back in 2006, I didn't really understood it. You know, when I, I think at that time I was like in my early or mid 20s or something like that. I didn't quite understood the movie like that, but I know people was watching it. But anyway, this is the Blu-ray. And I had to find the right one because there was one that don't have like special features or additional features. So I had to make sure I had the right one. All right. So as you can see on here, it features a bunch of people such as Justin Timberlake, you got Emil Hirsch, Ben Foster, uh, Anton Yelchin, may he rest in peace, um, Sharon Stone, Bruce Willis, and many others that was on this film, all right? I'll bring up what happened on this movie. Pretty much what happened at the beginning is showing like videos of, I believe that's young Nick, you know, uh, as, as he was a child prior to him, the situation that happened. I was, you know, scrolling it through. It's kind of a sad beginning, to be honest. If you watch it at the beginning, it's pretty sad. Because for those that know the story, knows what happened, you know what I mean? So after that, it picks up with everybody else on there. You have Emil Hirsch as Johnny True Love, Justin Timberlake as Frankie. And he's Johnny's right hand man. You got Ben Foster's Jake Mazursi, who's like a friend. Um, Sean Hatchesee, I believe that's his name, play as Elvis. Elvis is the guy that owes Johnny money. I believe he owes him like uh, twelve hundred. Um, don't mind that sound. That's the ice maker. Once I found out that the man owes money, Johnny was treating them like, like a, a, a like a punk basically. He had him start doing chores and stuff in the house and all that. And then you got Anton Yelchin, who is Zach Mastersky, who is Jake's little brother. All right, Sharon Stone is, is Jake's, well, Zach's mother. And Bruce Willis plays as Sonny True Love. Let me rewind back. So it starts off with Sonny True Love being interviewed by the FBI, trying to figure out where is Johnny, because it, it shortly says that He's gone away from this, you know, from the area and all that. So now I'll go back to the beginning where all the kids just having fun. Now, this takes place back in 1999, 2000, something like that, where everybody just chilling, having fun. Johnny True Love is pretty much like a, I say, middle class drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? So he, he actually deals drugs and you know all that stuff so as i'm watching this movie it, it's on some like serious stuff at the beginning like it has a little comedy in it but it don't really have like a lot of comedy it's more serious so as i fast forward i'm going to fast forward to the part where jake shows up at his house so when jake tried to explain to him that he couldn't come up with the money that was old to um, Johnny that's when they got in a big feud and they started fighting each other and all that stuff and Ben Ben's character Jake was acting the fool and all that stuff because of the fact he couldn't pay Johnny back push comes to shove they started totally being against each other and then that's when the big fight happened and they started going back and forth with each other on some petty stuff basically again like i said these are some young teens early 20s kids just acting a fool like they have no idea what's going on so all of a sudden once they johnny had enough of how jake was treating them he decided to you know haunt him down and then while 
him and his crew was haunting him down, he happened to see Jake's younger brother, who is Zach. They saw Zach walking down the street, and they was like, wait a minute, that's, that's, uh, that's Jake's brother. So they, they kidnapped him and pretty much wanted to get ransom, you know what I mean, to get the kid back. Now, that's all I'm going to say about this movie, though, because I don't want to give out too much. For me, watching this movie, it's it's really enjoyable at times, but then there's some scenes on there that's kind of cheesy. You know, I'm not gonna say what scenes they are, but I think Ben Foster, that plays Jake, did a very awesome job on this movie, man. Like he he plays like a crackhead or a drug head that, that's on drugs. And then you got Emil Hirsch as Johnny, who is the middle class drug dealer. He, he did pretty good, too. And, you know, I was reading or I was watching the behind the scenes on how he had to develop that character. And he said he had to keep watching the move, you know, the video of um, the real person, Jesse James Hollywood, on how he act like his persona. Overall, though, this is a pretty good film. The only thing about it is um, the ending. The ending is really sad, man. It's really sad. Um, again, if you know the story behind this movie, you will understand why I'm saying it. Like, this movie, again, is based on true events and then the, the events that happened with this young kid. For what I read, he was only 15 when he got killed. It's, it's really sad at the end, man. And I, I, I don't normally burst into tears, you know what I mean? But... I was a little emotional watching it because pretty much the kid had nothing to do with the situation that was going on. And the thing is, throughout this movie, man, it, it's a lot of things that happen and I, I don't even want to say it. This, this, honestly, this movie could kind of, it's rated R. So this movie could have kind of been at a NC-17 rating, honestly, because the, the scenes that, that, that was shown in this movie, I don't think this is for like teenagers to watch like 17, 18, well, at least 17, yes. But anybody under 17, I don't think should watch this movie. That's just my personal opinion. Because based off of the stuff that, that happens and what's being said, it, it's, it's on some, some crazy cycle type stuff <laughs> on some scenes. Again, there's some scenes on there that's, that's pretty friendly like but most of the scenes, although, is not. So I, that's why I'm kind of surprised that this movie is rated R instead of NC-17. To get to the bottom of what I'm trying to say, I would recommend this movie if you like movies based off of true events and if you like drama films and stuff like that. And y'all know I'm more of a dialogue person. I don't like too much action in the movie. I mean, I like some action, but I don't like too much action. But... If you ever watch this movie, be aware of the stuff that's on there. Because, again, it's on some crazy, cycle behaviors. Flip it back here. And zoom it. Inspired by true events, of course. One of my favorite scenes off of the movie is when Ben Foster's character is on the phone with Johnny True Love trying to discuss what could be done. I mean, Jake, you know, the character went off on there, man. Like, he just went off on Johnny. <laughs> and I thought to myself, that was crazy, man. So, <laughs> he made me laugh. And then another scene is when he's in the room with his boss. And the boss told him to do a couple things. And he didn't, he didn't want to do it. Like, that was a great scene, too. And then another scene is when Jake joins a party. And well, not join, but he went to a party and, and Ad was searching for Johnny. Uh, that, that's a crazy scene, too, man. So, th there's a couple of scenes I did enjoy, man. But as a whole, though, like I said, just be aware of the ending and some of the scenes on there that's insane. So, that's it. Shout out to the director, Nick C, for directing this film. Shout out to all the actors and actresses. And oh, uh, Amanda Seyfried, I think that's her name, is on this film also. She plays one of the witnesses, as you can see on this cover. All right, 
Much love to the real folks. And I'll be on here back with another review. All right. Peace out, guys.